Well, evening uh, YouTube, tubers, people of uh, YouTube. Uh, here now to embark on a beach camp with a mate. Um, <clears throat> time now is quarter to six. It gets dark about seven-ish, I think, today. And we've got a pitch and everything. And my mate is notoriously late. So that's going to be fun and we need to eat. Um, going to be a tent though because the weather's not particularly good and it's supposed to absolutely tip it down with rain tonight. I've got a tarp and a bivvy so I've got multiple choices. Uh, do you remember those from school? Multiple choice? Anyway, um, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do too much filming because uh, he's a bit camera shy. Anyway, uh, catch you later. And uh, I'll hopefully get some footage for you. See you soon. Oh, oh well done. <laughs> you got your phone? <laughs> Just lost the brolly. Well, we're here and it's about half past seven. And it's a bit windy. Had to get the fire going because it's raining. Wine. Cook stuff. Tents are up. Not even guide them in or anything. They've just got stuff in them. Well, we've actually lost the uh, Caribbean style umbrella that uh, Gordon brought with us. Uh, it, <laughs> literally flying over some fields over the back, over there. Um, the night is still young and we haven't even drunk much either so but anyway we're back on the spiky beach um, maybe more when it's a bit lighter see you later yeah it's a little bit wet uh, although it's stopped raining now but luckily i re waterproof the um luckily i will re waterproof the Dutch army because it wasn't actually waterproof at all. It's I tested it, didn't bead at all, just sunk straight in. So I re-waterproofed it today but I still don't hold out much hope for it for being extremely waterproof. But there you go. Fun. Fire. Here's the tents. Uh, Gordon went for the day glow green option. Uh, he wanted to go camouflage tonight. Uh, I'm going to take you down here a little bit, but I've got to be careful with the, with the pit torch on, careful with the spikes. There's the sea anyway, literally right next to us. There's spikes there, look here. You gotta be frigging careful where you walk. Anyway, sorry about the wind. Oh, it's dry here, look. There you go, a bit smoky, Joe, the fire. Uh, I've got wine in that, a litre of wine. Brown's got 75 CLs plus some beers, I think. There you go. An evening by the sea. I absolutely poo you not. It's like gale force. Not ground force. Look, the Caribbean. I'll get to the low because I'll probably save a lot of wind. Look at the Caribbean <laughs> umbrella. He's already lost one. Got another one out of his truck. Look at my tent, that's my tent. Look at it. Looks like an elephant dancing. I told Gordon to put his tent behind mine, look, the Dago one. Purely because mine's double skinned. Not four skinned, double. Anyway, we're still here. It's about 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> it's raining. It's nasty, it's horrible, but it is 
near enough October in the UK, so what do you expect? <laughs> See you later, guys. Love you, bye. Right, the time is about 12 o'clock. <laughs> it's windy. I've got the whole tent to myself, though. See you later. So, Marks and Spencer's pot noodle versus pot noodle. Original. Original. Who will be the winner? Look at our fire, look. That's it. It's piss. Piss poor. <laughs> but that's all we've got to go with. Yeah. Night. How much water do you need to put in a Marks and Spencer's? Look. Pot noodle. Versus original. I'll come back to you. Right, it's a pot noodle off. In there. I think it certainly looks better. Yeah, Marks and Spencer's pot noodles are pants. You've got to go original. If you can actually see in the original. Look. Can't eat it. Juice though. Are you actually Juice eating though. it? You gotta wait. You gotta leave pot noodles. An experienced pot noodler, you have to leave pot noodles for at least three minutes. Three minutes? I'm just saying. Just saying. It won't go cold if you put our water back in. Marks and Spencer's, look. Marks and Spencer's friggin' pot noodles. <laughs> We've got no fire, but I think I might win on the pot noodle stakes. Look at that thing. Look. Compared to that pot noodle, Marks and Spencer's pot noodles are shite. Anyway, I'm going to eat mine because it's cold. Bye. Alright guys, so it's now 1.28 in the morning. Check out the tent. We're not sure what a high tide is. We think it's gonna be about a foot below where our tent, where my foot is, look. A foot, perhaps below. Maybe not, we're not sure. But it's a damn sight warmer in here than it is outside. Anyway, see you later. I've got to stop saying anyway. Anyway, bye. I absolutely, oh, there we go. I absolutely shit you not, it's the windiest. Look, listen. The windiest motherfucking night I've ever spent in my life. And the time is 20 to 2 in the morning. See that? It's like, it's not like 10 o'clock. It's proper in the morning and my mummy bag, sleeping bag, has got a disorder. And I've got a serious disorder with my mummy bag and I'm now cold. And also, 
we're not sure. Sorry about the light. Uh, we're not actually sure where the tide comes, so it's quite close. But on a positive note, I'm lying on the army sleep mat, which is actually sort of comfortable. But until I get comfortable, it won't be comfortable. So anyway, I've got the thing on my head. I've got my head torch on my head, like literally on my head. Not on my head, but on my head. Anyway, I've had far too many wines. I need to sort my sleeping bag out. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. If I could just say one thing is, if you ever get a mummy sleeping bag, don't friggin' bother because they're just horrendous to friggin' get into. Try not to swear. I like a swear up. Look, I've got my bivvy there ready to go. But it absolutely doesn't I'm going to be sleeping outside tonight because it's. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. I think I might be not zipping up my. Uh... I might not be zipping up my. Whatever you call it, mummy bag. Oh. Right, my wife said. I said to my wife, is this one alright? She said, oh yeah, it's fine. Well, it's not fine, is it? It's a friggin' mess, this one. Bring back my mountain warehouse. All is forgiven. <laughs> oh, nearly two o'clock in the morning, eh? It's like proper. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I haven't guided anything down. We're just literally on a pebble beach, so... You know, it is what it is. See you in the morning, chaps and chapesses. Bye. Well, morning, guys. Uh, it's ten past five, and it's absolutely cooning a gale. Let's see if you can see outside. I've had a couple of hours of sleep. I think we went to sleep about. Half one, two. Uh, let's see if I can fight my way out. There we go. Let's see. It's actually quite a way up. I haven't guided it out or anything, it's literally thrown the tent up. So that's why it's a bit loose inside. Oh my god. But I will be getting up in a minute. And my sleeping bag's been slipping all over my mat all night. Let's have a little look, shall we? See what awaits. issues. Oh, a bit of sea spray. A bit rough. Oh yeah, very rough. Wow. That's what I'm making up to. people uh, just had a massive breakfast I couldn't do any filming before I left apart from that last bit that you've just seen purely because it was just horrendous weather really bad I got pretty wet to be honest check my wet hair out 
uh, packing up the tent and all our kit and then I'd make about four trips to the car. It's, that's wild camping for you. Anyway, had a brilliant evening uh, with my mate and uh, yeah, had a little bit too much to drink. But uh, just had the big breakfast and now sitting at some train things waiting for the train to pass. I uh, hope you enjoyed. As usual, thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, thumbs down if you really have to. But um, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the, my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. See ya. Well, guys, I'm back home now, and uh, what I forgot to say was the Dutch Gore-Tex camouflage army surplus jacket, Dutch Army is total and utter shit. I waterproofed it uh, before, which I think I told you about, and it's crap. It's absolutely soaked, very heavy, and uh, it absolutely stinks of fires now, but it's nasty. So um, don't get one if you want to stay dry. It's warm, but uh, if you want to stay dry, don't bother, because it really is a pile of poop. Anyway, thanks for watching. Usual stuff. Thumbs up, thumbs down. See ya.